I wanted just to go back to what we were talking about with the carbohydrates. And Ben, you were talking about just like eating three square meals a day. And so as an athlete, it's kind of been drilled into me to, I have this 20 minute window after my workout to like replenish all the protein I need and, and, and like hurry home and like, you know, eat something. So do you feel like I, I don't need to, like, do I not need to worry about that? Because that would be great. <laughs> Uh, after a, after like a fast, let's say like a fasted morning workout in which there's a pretty significant amount of like glycogen depletion that's occurred post-workout um, and, and you're going in hungry, a lot of times it can be stressful and you can also do a lot of um, compensatory feeding later on in the day due to appetite dysregulation if you're going for a long period of time after something like a fasted big morning workout before you eat. Um, you're still probably going to do just fine in terms of, of restoring glycogen levels during the day. You may get a little bit less of an anabolic response to that workout. If you, if you miss, it's really not a 20 minute window. It's depending on what you look at, it's closer to like 60 minutes to two hours is what you're looking at. But ultimately, um, unless it's a, it's a situation like that, no, you don't really need to worry about it that much. I mean, like... You know, I I did a, a big workout this morning. I, I quit eating around it was around 9:30 p.m. last night or so. I worked out from about uh, 8 to 9:30 this morning, and you know, I ate around 11. And you know, I'm not worried at all. I, like I I honestly I don't pay that much attention to it. So yeah, I was I was going to say there's more and more research showing that these really tight time limits that we try to stick ourselves to are actually just kind of wrong. Um, there's some instances and very rare instances at kind of the extremes of performance or the extremes of goals where you might want to start nitpicking or am I doing that? But, you know, like Ben had talked about earlier, even in the absence of carbohydrates, pure ketogenic uh, diets, people can deplete energy, intramuscular glycogen stores 50%. And, you know, later on, they're going to replenish 10% even without eating carbohydrates. So if, you're eat, if you are eating kind of a balanced diet and you're reintroducing those foods, your body's going to do a very good job of putting what needs to go where when it needs to go there. So it, it doesn't need to be that complex. That just adds another stressor. And then you can't eat gluten because you're stressed out about when you're eating. <laughs>